So the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X have both launched, and both of them are having some issues. This is kind of to be expected as, you know, these are launch systems. These are the first ones off the assembly line. Naturally, there's going to be some issues. Uh, I was not able to get an Xbox Series X, by the way. I tried. I tried to get one on launch day. I also tried to pre-order one. But the problem is that, you know, these shopping bots that people make, they go in and they just snag everything. It's going to be hard to get these systems, I think, until after the holidays. Because you're competing with bots. And it's not fair. It's really not fair. Like, you can't walk into a store and buy one. You have to order it online, and then you can go in there and get one. And still, at that point, good luck beating those stupid bots. I hate them. I wish there was a way that these shopping that these shopping websites could make it so that you can't you can't purchase like that. But I, I don't know. <laughs> That's way above my computer skill level. But anyway, both are having problems. Uh, I can't report on the Xbox Series X. Like I said, I don't have one. But my PlayStation Five has had some hiccups. I'm really hoping that it's not that it's not a beat up machine or something. Uh, a lot of people are having, I guess, uh, bricking. Like some of them are bricking and having storage issues. I had some problems where the thing was turning off. Like I would start a game up and the system would just crash and then system restore and turn on. It was really strange, but it seems to be fixed now. We'll see what happens. I'm not. I'm. I'm hoping. You know. I don't have a five hundred dollar paperweight, but. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to touch up on something. So a few days ago, I talked about how Microsoft was setting their sights on Japan and trying to make moves. And I could have reported on more of this because a story had dropped like the next day of reports of them trying to buy a studio in Japan. And I kind of agree with the people that were saying it's Sega. I bet you Microsoft is going to buy Sega. It would make a lot of sense. Uh, if you remember, the two of them have a close relationship. When the original Xbox launched, from what I understand, Sega had like uh, they helped them set stuff up, and I also believe that Microsoft worked with them a little bit on the Dreamcast with their internet and stuff. So there's some interesting stuff there. I'm not 100% sure on them working with the Dreamcast, but from what I remember, the Dreamcast had Windows on it. So uh, maybe I'm wrong. You have to look into that and double check that, but I swear it had windows on it. So uh, they have a, a long history together through some through some various means. I know Sega definitely helped them with the Xbox, from what I understand. So it would be it would be an interesting marriage for sure to see if that happens. Uh, Microsoft has proven themselves capable of just buying whatever the hell they want, <laughs> just like they bought um, Bethesda. But what I wanted to touch on was after this Bloomberg card article came out, a lot of people were talking, and I made a video on this, of Sony pretty much saying they're not interested in Japan anymore. And the big reason for that is the systems just don't sell as well. They only sold, from what I remember from the article, 11 million consoles in Japan, which is pretty low. Uh, the PlayStation 3 outsold it. Uh, from what I understand... The Japanese market seems more interested in handheld gaming. And also they don't like gigantic consoles. <laughs> so I guess like the like so the Xbox Series S, this one right here, the small white one, that's the system that ju that Microsoft's really pushing in Japan. But back on point. The insider for this Bloomberg article who apparently works at Sony says that their Sony's just not interested and really pushing Japan anymore. And it kind of makes sense. There's definitely something going on when it comes to like anime girls and Sony. Uh, they really do seem to be censoring any kind of lewd anime games. So if you're definitely like super into those kind of games, you're going to be at a very disadvantage if the only console or system that you game on is a PlayStation. And Sony doesn't seem to like this report that's coming out. They've come out. And gave a very, very small rebuttal to the claim that they aren't interested in Japan anymore. And this is it. Uh, Sony said that its home market remains of utmost importance. <laughs> That's it. That's all they had to say. And this is after this big Bloomberg piece hit that people have really been dissecting. 
So that doesn't really, if I was living in Japan, that wouldn't really, that wouldn't really make me very confident that they are very interested in me. Uh, didn't seem to matter much. It did sell out in Japan. Sony PlayStation 5 sold out in Japan on first day of launch. Not surprising. It's sold out everywhere on launch, and I don't think anyone's shocked by that. But I am very, very interested in what happens in this console generation with Japan because it's always kind of been, well, not so much recently, but it used to be kind of the the big place for video games. If you remember back in the day, games would come out there first, and we wouldn't get them until like a year later. Just go translate. Now it seems like, you know, the West is the most focused on area. And Japan is kind of an afterthought for a lot of these companies. It's uh it's it's an interesting swap of power that used to be in video gaming. And uh it'll be it's it's just interesting to me. If, if I like I said in my last video, if Microsoft takes Japan, that would be a very symbolic win for them. Especially since they've never had any any push over there. But like I said, this is a terrible response. I guess that's it. I tried to find more, but I guess this is all they've said. Our home market remains of the utmost importance. I'm sold, <laughs> I, I guess. I just, I don't know. This is crazy stuff. I never would have thought that Sony would give up on Japan and be more focused on America. And that's clearly the case. And Microsoft could actually gain ground over there. It's crazy stuff. It's fun to talk about, you know. Something a little bit more fun than some some crazy weirdo stuff, you know. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Let me hear them. Uh, like, subscribe, share the video if you would, please. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Hello there.